In Sonic 1's opening stage Green Hill Zone, we get three acts of genuine fun. Sega eases you into its physics with simple ramps, a few loop-de-loops, and even these little tunnels that spit you out into a ball, making you go even faster. I want you to imagine just how mind-blowing this idea was in 1988. Before Sonic, most platformers were focused on its locales and power-ups. These were, of course, virtual worlds that needed cool things to do in them. The gateway between us and the simulated box of fun was the controller. If I want a character to go right, I press this button. If I want them to go left, I press this button. Think, press, action. How you interact with the game is entirely predetermined and constrained by the toolbox the devs give you access to. Mario and Sonic both have running and jumping tools, but Mario's little run jump parabola is archaic to Sonic's, well, this. In Sonic the Hedgehog, players can now use physics as another tool for creative expression. So yeah, it's pretty epic. Good thing they ruined it. 